a unit vector is a vector of length 1. Now we've been using them so far to indicate the different axes. So for example, if that's length 1, this is a unit vector on the x-axis, that's a unit vector on the y-axis, and that's a unit vector on the z-axis. And we can use this as a way to express vectors. But very often we want to express some other vector as a unit vector. So let's say we had a vector here, v, which has got components ax along the x-axis, ay along the y-axis, and az along the z-axis. So that's v, but what's a unit vector in the direction of v? Now if the length of v is more than 1, then a unit vector will be shorter in the same direction. If the length of v is less, then it will be longer, but it will always point the same way. And the way you work it out, the unit vector is just a normal vector divided by the length of the normal vector. Which, if you write out the equations, is the normal vector divided by its length, which is worked out by Pythagoras, as usual. Very easy.